wandering pony and I look like this because I just got off the stair machine. So of course it was the perfect time to make this video. Stair machine training for mountains, let's go. So what do the Inca Trail and Everest Base Camp Trek have in common? Thousands of stairs. Luckily, stair machines are pretty easy to find. Most gyms have them. So all you gotta do is get you a membership. I have like the cheapest one. It's like 10 bucks a month or something, just so I can use a stair machine to get ready for my next trek. If you are training for your next big trek, especially if it's high elevation, I personally think the best way to train if you cannot get on the trail is get on the stair machine. So some tips for using the stair machine. One, wear the shoes that you're going to wear if you can, or your hiking boots or whatever. Um, just to, it'll break them in and also just, you know, obviously that's how it's gonna feel on the trail. So you may as well recreate those conditions as much as possible. Another thing to keep in mind when you're on the stair machine specifically for mountains is to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. I think for a lot of people, that's not the most natural thing in the world. We're not used to it. So it's something to focus on um, so you can get better at it so that by the time you get to your mountain or to your actual trek, um, it's more like second nature. Any guide will tell you that, especially at elevation, you wanna be breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. The good thing with training on the stair machine, or one of the many good things, is we're creating muscle memory of that movement, of lifting the foot this high. It's harder, I think, than training just on an incline, which is still valuable and difficult, but with it's a, because it's a stair, you have to lift your foot at least this high just to get up the stair. So again, we create that muscle memory. When your body does a new movement, it uses a lot of energy because it's a new movement and it's unfamiliar and it's getting to know it. Um, and add the more times you do that movement, the less energy it uses because this movement becomes familiar. And that's what I mean when I say muscle memory. So when you're at elevation and you're exhausted, you know, and you know, maybe hungry or tired or whatever, your body can rely on that muscle memory. It's not gonna have to use a lot of as much, I'm sorry, it should not going to use as much energy walking up because it knows that movement really well. I think if you haven't done it before, a good thing is as I did, get on the first time, just see how long you last. You're you know, trying to like, you wanna push yourself, but you don't wanna like destroy yourself. So how long you can last with, you know, effort, but again, not like totally like destroying yourself. Remember also in the mountains, we move slowly intentionally. So don't worry about speed. Again, in my experience, speed comes with time, even if I'm not trying. <laughs> If I'm not trying to go faster, the more I'm often I'm going and the longer I'm going, I sort of incidentally just become faster. So I would not stress if you're really slow at the start, like that's fine. The first time I ever got on a stair machine my whole life, I was like, I don't care. I'm just going to get on here and see how long it can last. And I lasted 25 minutes. I can do a lot more than that now. But I'm just saying, at that time, oh my gosh, I was going much slower. But again, we move slowly in the mountains anyway. So don't stress if you're not quick. Um, just do the best you can. I would say we're aiming more for longevity. Now I can tell you from my own experience, you tell people you're doing the stair machine, some clowns, first words out of the mouth, they can be like, don't hold on to the handles, like whatever. Okay, they're gonna try and like talk form when you never even asked, but I'm just saying. I would feel free to put some weight on those handles. I'm not saying you should like bend forward at the waist and lean all over them, but put some weight on them. I don't, I think it's fine if you want to because you'll probably be using trekking poles anyway. So it kind of recreates the trekking poles, you know, a little bit. So if you can't get on the trail and you want to be ready for the next trek, again, especially if it's in the mountains, totally check out the stair machine. Again, wear the shoes you're going to wear. Um, remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So don't worry about going fast. Just stay as long as you can. Um, again, don't be afraid to lean a little weight because eh, trekking poles. If you're a superstar and you want to bring your pack, ooh, I admire you. I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that. I admit I haven't done that yet. But I hope you find this information helpful and good luck on the stairs. And if you have questions, please leave them in the comments.